Hey guys and welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique and this is Art with Mo. And if you read the title then you already know what's going to be happening today but if you didn't let me tell you because I would love to. Um, I sketched out some pencil portraits and today I'm just going to continue coloring in those portraits with my Bianco markers. And then on top of those Bianco markers I am going to be using the colored pencils by Arteza. So if you haven't watched the first part of this video, then go ahead and click on that video. I'll leave a link right above so that you can get to it really easy, easily and then come on back to this video. But the process in both videos are going to be the same. So um, let's just get started. I already finished the previous two, like I said in the other video. And with this one, I will be doing the other three portraits that were unfinished. I would have put all five portraits in one video, but it would have been a long video. So I just figured that I would break up the two videos so that it would uh, not be as long. Right now, I am just coloring in the third portrait. And I actually thought this one went pretty well. Um, her hair was a little bit difficult to get correct just because of the blending and then the way that the light is hitting her face and mainly her hair. How the light is hitting her hair is hard to get that right look into this portrait but I think overall it came out pretty well and I really like how the light is hitting her face because I was able to see all of the shadows and the highlights. I'm going in with my Micron pen. I believe this is like the 0 .005 or maybe it's the 0 .01. But either way, I use that to add in her eyebrows and her eyelashes. And then I'm going in with a white colored pencil to add a little bit of highlight. And I also used a, a white gel pen to go on top of the marker as well. And here I'm trying to figure out what color I'm going to use for her lips because I didn't really have the exact tone in the markers, but I made it work. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you leave a comment down below introducing yourself so that I can get to know you and we can stay connected. And also, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Here on my channel, I do a lot of art content and I work with different mediums because I am trying to grow as an artist. I want to be able to create anything at any moment. So um, being able to work in different mediums is one of my goals. And I want to be able to draw anything. So I mainly work with digital art. Um, there are a bunch of other videos on my channel of me working with my iPad in Procreate. So make sure to check those out as well. Um, I work with markers, colored pencils, and gouache as well. So look out for those videos. And let's get back to the bleh, bleh. Let's get back to this piece. Um, right now I am just coloring in her face and I'm going back and forth in between a dark shade and a light shade for her skin tone so that when I am blending the colors together, the, the portrait doesn't have any hard lines to the face because I want it to be almost silky smooth but not silky smooth, you know? I want a little bit of texture but not too much. Okay, anyways, if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. Um, I am just going to continue coloring in this portrait like I did the first one. With the colored pencils, I definitely like to add those finishing touches and it helps to blend out some 
of the marker that I can't blend out with the marker. So right now I'm just using the colored pencil for the eyebrows. And again, these are the Arteza colored pencils. It's the 72 colored set. And these Bionio markers, I am now using one of the darker shades to add in some tone to her hair. And I'm using the, what's the tip called? I'm using the bullet tip to make the curls and then I switch it over and I'm gonna use the chisel tip to color in the rest of the hair. I am finally on the last portrait. Let me know what you guys think of all of these marker portraits with a little bit of colored pencil on top. And let me know um, just what you think about them, how much you like them, how much you don't like them, all down below. Um, let me know which one is your favorite. I can't really tell which one is my favorite because I feel like I learned a lot with each one of them. But if I had to choose, it would probably have to be the one that I am working on right now or the woman with the green earring just because these two portraits look the most like the reference and I'm really happy with how they turned out and with both of these portraits I learned quite a bit. I am wrapping up this video if you've made it this far thank you so so much for watching I had a blast drawing these um, and definitely let me know how you felt about them because I am more than happy to create some more with you guys and maybe go a little bit more in depth about my process when I use markers because I feel like after doing these five portraits in markers I've learned a little bit more about how to use them and I'd be happy to share with anybody that would like to know and if you also enjoy this video make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos and thanks again for watching I'll see you guys in the next one bye